Thank you for visiting the Nani Hood Parent Resource Center online education tools and welcome to the Power of Play. This webinar is designed to give a general overview on the fundamentals of children's play. In this webinar we will cover what play looks like, types of play, being a playful parent, learning and healing through play, and how to cultivate play. To begin, what is play? Play is universal, meaning that anyone can participate at any time. Play never discriminates. You can be 1 or 100 and enjoy a tea party. Play is free. You are free to laugh and smile, free to create castles and dragons out of trees and clouds. Play is truthful. Play is the one medium children have to express feeling and emotion honestly and openly. The act of playing will look different to each person. However, it is easily identified because it is recognizable by sounds, facial expression, body language, and props. Play can be divided into three milestones. Play begins at birth and continues into age two, being considered sensory motor play. Children are just acquiring control over their movements. They enjoy repetitive motions. This kind of play includes songs, peekaboo, toys designed for teething, sorting, and pushing. From ages two to six, play takes on a pretend foundation. Children are able to imitate situations around them. They often pretend to be a mom or dad, fireman or police officer. They like to play house, grocery store, or birthday party. Their imagination is endless and the pretend world can seem very real to them. When children enter school, they enter a world where play takes shape in forms of games with rules. From tag to monopoly, play has boundaries and goals. There is often a winner to the game as well. Throughout a child's development, play will take on different styles. Quiet play can be seen while reading, stringing beads, or putting together puzzles. Cooperative play requires more than one person, which can be seen in a game of kickball or playing house. Creative play can be seen while dancing, painting, playing with sand, or problem solving. Dramatic play is seen when mothering dolls or pretending to bake bread. Children are able to try on different roles during dramatic play. Active play includes playing at the park and utilizing large motor skills, playing basketball, swinging, climbing a ladder, and going down the slide. Finally, manipulative play consists of coordination between the hands and eyes. This can be seen while making collages, using scissors, or using tools. As a parent or child care provider, you have an important role in your child's play development. You can support, engage, and create opportunities for your child to play. To be a playful parent is easy. Just relax and play. However, many adults are intimidated by play. They may not like the noise or mess they perceive play to be. By allowing your imagination to relax and work, you will find yourself making paper airplanes or drums out of pots and pans. Sometimes, we just need to give our child the space to play. They may not always want to play with another person. They will need physical and emotional space to develop play. When playing with your child, give them the same time and attention you might give your boss at work. Put away the cell phone and be alert and attentive. Your child may be asking you to hold a hot potato and you will miss it if you're distracted. Allow the child to lead you. Your child will have all kinds of ideas that they will want to play with you. However, let them think of the roles and scenarios. Finally, schedule play dates and social interactions for your children to play with other children their age. Socialization is the key to their emotional development. Play is a child's portal to learning. Play stimulates their brain and development. Play gives children hands-on experiences that they will be able to associate with later on in life. Play stimulates creativity and curiosity. Play is a safe place for cause and effect to happen. They can create situations and roles they have seen in real life and try them out during play. Play definitely enhances literacy. Print can be utilized during story hour, through song, and block letters. Exposing children to a variety of literacy opportunities will encourage their reading later on as they develop. Finally, play increases social and emotional development. Because play does not discriminate and is universal, anyone can join in. 
You don't have to be official friends or family to join in an afternoon dress up. Kids have a natural way of being inclusive. They are able to try out social skills through their play. They experience how others feel. For example, if they lose or break a toy, complete a painting, or take turns driving a wagon, play is all about experiences. Not only is play essential to learning, for children it can be the largest component for healing. If a child has been through a traumatic experience such as divorce, abuse, fire or flood, even moving to a new school, play allows them to heal. Through play they can build trust and confidence with their playmates. They will know what they can expect, what they can and cannot control through time and the repetition of play. Play aids in the recovery of trauma because play is a safe emotional outlet for children. Often a child will express how they are feeling or something they have heard or seen as they play house, act out on a doll or toy. A safe outlet can include letting children paint or draw instead of them talking about a situation. Play reduces stress and neutralizes emotions through laughter, physical exercises, and relationship building. Props or toys that aid in play help cultivate different developmental skills. Toys that encourage real life experience include dress up clothes, kitchen sets, doctor kits, and books. Problem solving toys include puzzles, shape sorters, and stacking toys. Creative mediums are endless. Play-Doh, paints, crayons, and blocks are just to name a few. Coordination can be increased using balls, musical dance scarves, and the parachute. Muscle coordination can be developed using bikes and swinging. Building boundaries and setting rules can be aided with games like tag and hide and seek. Kay Jamison said it best, children need the freedom and time to play. Play is not a luxury, play is a necessity. Play is a necessity for children just like water and shelter. Children need play to grow. Thank you for visiting the Nani Hood Parent Resource Center webinar tools, The Power of Play.